So looking at the stats, uh, he's played a slightly more games. Again, I'm struggling to remember in these previous years how much was affected by injuries and things. I'll have a look. But average rating wise, again, he's quite consistent around the high 6.9s to low 7s. His best year was last season, so maybe City just didn't do as good. But they just got him obviously staying on the halfway line, never attacking at set pieces, not utilising his uh, heading ability or strength. I'm not sure. I think Connor was 20 for strength. So Connor is with the Republic of Ireland squad. Why no one else was that I've seen so far, I don't think, or I haven't been spotting it. So it's just, uh, I don't know. We'll come on to that. We'll check up. We'll chase up the Irish stuff at the end once we've profiled everyone and the England stuff on the international front. But achievements wise, so won the FA Cup. But I want to look. The Ipswich 4 0 on the final. It's always like a strange team who gets there. Smashed it. Dr. Concentration bottled it. Got injured after eight minutes. The Ox. John played in the final. Ah, uh, Clash, Clash of the Preps. 10 for the Ox. Smashed it. But Connor was actually on the bench, so he still he still got the medal. But didn't didn't play. Stephen played. And there's no one else at Ipswich, I don't think, that we, we would recognise. Uh, so check out the injury, see if that played any part. Yes, yeah, so he's up for uh, nine weeks this season. So yeah, that's about at least you know, 10, 12 games that could have been playing in the league. So he's definitely still for, very much first team, but... Um, he's not tearing it up. Where did City finish? Can't remember that league table. Oh, the runners up. So, can't remember. did they win it the year before? Yeah, so they, they couldn't defend it. How close were they to beating Tottenham? It's odd that Tottenham have done it. it. Just lost so many more. They lost twice as many games. Just, just didn't draw. So City so count themselves unfortunate. To not defend it. Just trying to see who's the best players in the game now. I don't. All uh, Asian and South American young talent coming through. Um. So that's that. With Connor. Just check out on a personal level. Do you get any awards? Got into the Prem team a couple of times. Ireland's best eleven. He's won a fair few things. He's won everything in England now. There is to win. Just needs to do stuff on the continent whilst he still can. But uh, I'd be interested if Connor moves on. It wouldn't be surprised me just because he does have two years to run. He'd be approaching 30 as that contract expires. But the artificial intelligence in the game... Uh, it doesn't really care when they're 30 as much as I would if I was managing. I'd be at 30. It's always a cut-off point. Do I cash in on a player or I'm reluctant to give them a big contract to they take them to like 34. So interesting to see what they do. I'd, I'd imagine he'd stay there just because in the game for a centre-back, 28 to 32 is your peak years. No reason for City to get rid of him. But on the average rating front, Hasn't really smashed it, not like the likes of some that you've seen, Gal and, and whatnot. But he is just, if Connor could get more goals, so just to not, I'd always, I'd have him at definitely up up from corners, but what can you do? Um, Hopefully Bono steps up for, um, for Ireland, commanding centre back, determined. Look, stays back at all times, so he's been trained to stay back. And he's just been trained to play simple passes. So he's just been literally told not to utilise any of his technique or skill, which he does have. But that's Bono. So hopefully we'll be seeing more of him in the World Cup. He looks like... So I've noticed it now. International, that wasn't there before. Because I have... You guys won't have noticed it, but I've 
recorded the first three videos. Then I, I logged out and have come back in, but I haven't moved forward any days. So I, I, it just wasn't there before, I don't think. So that's a good sign. Looks like we're all in the internationals other than Beasley and Nick. So it means we're all in the squads, I'm imagining. Coolio. Going to Gal. So he's worth the same amount of money as Connor on in the transfer market, but one cap behind, but a lot more goals. Looking nice. Gal did reply to my message about what he'd want to do with his career, but um, can't remember his exact answer now. I think it was along the lines of, um, yeah, he 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 yeah he'd, he'd be if he did move, it wouldn't be the end of uh, the world type thing as long as he was going somewhere he could win stuff. But his primary objective would be to win it with Arsenal. But again, we know that hasn't happened this year, so it's another year gone by for Gal, and that's the. That was 13th, was that last year? So they bounced back in a, a, into the rightful fourth spot. Didier Deschamps now is there, is the now manager. Rambo and Chambers still there. How many years left does Gal have? See, Arsenal, oh, he'd definitely say he's got four years. He's not going anywhere. Um, wouldn't surprise me someone like a PSG or... Monaco did come in and buy him because Al wasn't wanted by PSG when we were doing it last time. And they always have stupid money to burn. But I think Gals, he's so content in the game. He's playing well. He's got a team he supports. He, he won't want to leave. It would just take a, a ridiculous bid for Arsenal to sell him. Look, he's five star. I've never seen that in the game. Messi and Ronaldo in my file are like four and a half. So five star. He's got to be the best defender in the game. Excellent. Uh, I'm just thinking, probably have him as a stopper now. When in younger days, I would have had him as a cover. But stopper can read the game. Heads it, marking, tackling, positioning. Yes. Very good. Just compare it to what what cover would be. Yeah, cover is just you need someone just covering up behind, sweeping up the balls over the top. Fourteen is good, especially for a defender who looks so robust in the tackle. But probably you find someone a bit quicker, a bit niftier on the ground. But that's just looking at the career stats. He's played of only missed seven league games once. Came off the bench. Great average rating again. Um, just very good. What can you say? Surprised only got one uh, league goal though. I know I've said that before about him, but he is capable of scoring at set pieces. We've seen it before. Celtic he was smashing it, but on the man of the match front, he used to be a man of the match beast, but he's not really done it. He's got a couple of reds again. He's always had that disciplinary issue. Just uh, I don't know if it's. He's just picking up a lot of yellows and then gets the red, or if it's just last ditch tackling that type of stuff. But only one man of the match for someone of like he's five star centre back. You'd think he'd do a bit better. Let's check the Arsenal team out again. An excuse to look at the Arsenal again on Ramsey and Chambers still there. So Chambers is centre back alongside Gal. I've noticed there's so many Romeros in the game. I don't know if that's just a regeneration character. But there's a lot. Okay, I recognise still a few of them. I recognise Forenzi, Can, Depay. But Ramsey's on the way out now. He must be just how old is he? Thirty-five. But he's still he's still good. He's a lot better in this game than he is in mine. I've sold him in my Arsenal game. But mentally, he's very good. He's improved as he got older. Um, just check out the injuries. Can't remember if I looked at Connor. Oh, I did. Connor's out for nine weeks. Gal. So Gal was out for yeah a couple of months, so that explains why I didn't play every game. So he's probably one of the first names on the team sheet, and he's with the Ireland squad, as it appears that most people are. So that bodes well for the World Cup because I remember I told you um <coughs> in one of the saves that I checked, I don't know about all of them because there was two crashes. Ireland didn't make it, so I'm interested to see how they've got on. 
Hey, moving on to Aiden. Aiden's worth more than Gavin Connor. 